What's, What's up, up dudes? dudes? Guys, welcome <laughs> back to the channel. If you are new here, we are Matt and Abby, and we are so happy that you're here, so you should definitely subscribe. And if you're old here, thanks for coming thanks back for again. Thanks for coming back. We love you guys. That's really nice. You guys are the best. Uh, we are filming in our <laughs> new home. Check it out. It's our bed. Look at our Yay! Woohoo! Home sweet home. This no, is show them the floor. Literally <laughs> our best. We're, We're on a mattress on the floor. We're in my parents' basement. Table. Okay, check it out. This is our setup. Here's our tripod. That's the fan that we use when we sleep. And check out, here's our apartment behind us. It's right there. Babe, how's the process going? I wouldn't know. <laughs> anyway, we are doing the best we can, uh, moving out, getting situated, and uh, yeah, so right now we are in my parents' basement until the end of the month when we move to Hawaii. But we thought it'd be weird to pay rent right now when we want to be with family anyway. And if we want to play ping pong in the middle of the night. Yes, it's right there. I feel like we're on iCarly or something. <laughs> Let's start it out. Today we're answering <coughs> questions about long distance dating because in our last video, for those of you guys that saw it, Abby and I were apart and it was really crappy because we missed each other. For That's, our first year and a half of yep. dating, we were long distance. two and a half hours apart. Luckily, because we were only two and a half hours, I was able to drive to see Abby like but we pretty were much busy every people. other weekend. We were very busy, but I would drive to see you all the time. So it was long distance, but yes. it wasn't super long distance. We literally built our relationship on long distance. And that leads us to our first question. It's from, hey, it's Michael Harp. Michael said, would you yeah. recommend starting a relationship that way? And Honestly, I actually yeah. would say it was great for our relationship. I mean, we're married now. It forced us to talk to each other rather than just kiss all the time, which when we were together, we just kissed all the time. But so, then like during the week, we would talk and talk and talk over the phone. Any chance we got, we were both busy, but you make yeah, time for the things formed, that you want to make time for. We formed this really strong relationship built off of friendship because we just talked to each other so much and got to become the best of friends. Yeah. Ooh, you want another one? Ooh. You're so weird. Somebody asked, who moved to who when the long distance was over? And to answer the question, we moved to together. like- Together. Together to the same spot. So Matt, we... you followed me to college. Actually, kind of I did. <gasps> and I, I want to say, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> Why is your tongue red? <laughs> we wanted to have multiple schools on the list that we could go to. It ended up working out that we got into quite a few together, but the one that was cheapest was one that was like very persistent about Abby and that was Missouri State. It's anyway, funny. we both moved to each other for college. I was like done missing Matt. Like, yeah. I, I was like ready to forfeit anything. I was just like so sick of missing you. We kind and of, I think that's how I knew I, I like loved you and want to spend yeah. my whole life with you. And it wasn't really necessarily about a time that we were together. It was a time where I was like, you, you were away and it felt so wrong. And I hated that feeling. I would just sit there and think about you all day and stink in calculus. I'd be like, Aww. I wouldn't know what Matt's doing. Right I thought about you a Poop ton. Yeah. See, yeah, I just hated that feeling of missing you. Being so then away, we just went together. It being just worked away out. from your love is the worst. Did you ever lose feelings at times? No. During long distance, no. Be and honest, during, did you lose feelings? During, oh, actually, okay, very early on, we almost broke up. Oh, you did? What? Remember, like, a month into the oh, relationship? Oh, you told me that a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, very early in the relationship, I was just overthinking it. I was like, am I going to marry this girl? And I was like, okay, I need to decide right now. Am I marrying her? And it's like... Dude, just chill. But did you lose feelings? I you did? Yes, I lost feelings in the first, for, like in the first month. I was like, whoa, maybe I don't have the feelings. You learn to love somebody like so much. I do agree. I feel like in the first month I had a crush on you, but then like within that first month, I fell in love with you. What are you doing with your tongue? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing that? Okay. Did you ever do virtual dates? We really didn't do virtual dates, but we would just talk all the time virtually through FaceTime. We never were like- Just about every night though, we would FaceTime. Yeah, but that's not like a date. We were never like, here, let's have dinner together. We did virtual sleepovers. Yeah, sometimes we would, oh, we would do, yeah, we had virtual sleepovers. We would like that leave was the phone obsessive. on. That was obsessive. I'm embarrassed to admit yeah, this. Yeah, we would be like, <laughs> stay on, and then just like have the phone on and like fall asleep with each other. But not really any formal virtual dates, but that's kind of a good idea. Did it help appreciate your relationship more had it not been long distance, did I read that right? Heck yeah. I think so. I think that made us a lot more serious too. We were fighting for each other and we were like, let's make this happen. Let's make this work. Let's live in the same town and same dorm building. Like having that was so awesome because I could just like walk a minute down the hall and there's Abby. Like Also, it gave us the power to be like removed from the situation. Yeah. 
where it's like we weren't seeing each other all like every single day every single minute you know so I feel like it gave a lot more clarity to our relationship too where it's kind of yeah. like while we were still like stupid in love you know we were yeah. we a little bit more ground we were a little bit more grounded outside of it and being like yes we do want to spend we could put a timeline on when we wanted to do things that we knew we wanted to get married we knew we wanted yeah. to, I guess we just had a clear focus on what we really wanted yeah Ooh, so we have how do you keep conversations interesting that's a great question because we would just talk for a ton no on but the like phone. when we ran out of stuff to talk about tell them what you did I wanted to keep things going like I wanted to keep conversations fun so I would ask Abby questions like what is something that I don't know about you what's your favorite color and she'd tell me it and it would yellow. drive me nuts and because I ran out of things to tell you. I'm the game was that you get to ask me any question, I get to ask you any question. Yeah, that was a fun game. Yeah. Because we really just wanted to spend time with each other. We were talking just because we wanted to be together. So it wasn't about like what we were talking about. It was more about the fact that we were there together, FaceTiming, getting to have a conversation. And that was so fun. Have you hit the like button yet? If the answer isn't yes, go ahead and do that right now. Ding. It's free, takes no time, and it really helps us out with the algorithm. Thanks guys, let's get Thanks. back to the video. Someone said FaceTime or text. Definitely FaceTime. FaceTime. I mean, we would text all day during school because you can't but really I didn't FaceTime. Like fa I didn't like texting. But texting is just not really the same. Like if you're never FaceTiming them, it I feel like you don't work. really know them. Anybody can be anyone through text. You're there's no, so right. There's no personality there. Who knows? Maybe it's somebody else texting for them. Oh like you gosh. have no idea. I'm getting flashbacks to high school boys. And texting? Just texting. And, well, or Snapchatting. The and it wouldn't be their face. It would just be like their shoulder would be like, hey. If you're one of the guys that just sent me a picture of their shoulder and said, hey, or texted me a picture, hey, what's up? I hope that your game has improved since high school. Gosh. <laughs> FaceTime. I feel like that's how I knew Matt was different from the other guys because I was like, oh, he's actually being intentional and purposeful with getting to know me and getting to know the real me and sharing himself with me rather than just being like, hey, sup, I'm eating a hot dog. Literally had a guy Snapchat me playing along because it was so stupid. I was like, I'm eating spaghetti. He's like, yum, is it good? That's so weird. And I was like, why are we even talking about this Yeah, guy? it's good. Like how often about, should you communicate, expect to be in touch with your partner? That's a great question. I, I mean, think I how, feel like I always knew what you were doing, where you were at. How often? I don't know. I feel like if you truly are in a relationship with somebody, I feel like you would check in with them every day. We were serious about a relationship. We'd, we took it seriously. And I think if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, you're really finding out if you're going to spend the rest of your life with them. So I don't think you should just treat it lightly i don't know I, I just think that you need to like take it step in maturity with dating and it shouldn't just be like a oh we talk you know every five days or so and maybe we, we probably talked a lot more than most people would because we were just like goo goo gaga over each other like we facetime like <laughs> goo -goo i said gaga. We, but we were just very committed in our relationship so advice for someone who is thinking about long distance dating at first if you're thinking about dating long distance i think my only advice would be Know what you're getting yourself into. Know that it's going to be hard. Ugh. Know that I think relationships change you. Just be open to it. Yeah, I don't think you need to have like a whole lot, but just be be open to change and be open to how that person could change you and just be aware that you got to spend time with them just like you would spend time with somebody who's physically there with you and, and have those phone calls, have those FaceTime calls or the Zooms. Maybe you want to Zoom these days. Zooming is cool now. Probably not. <laughs> It'd be easy if you're starting off long distance. I can see it'd be easy for it to fizzle out really fast. Yeah. And I think that you keep the spark by pouring into it. <laughs> Did you guys get to spend holidays together? Yes, yes, we did. That was great. Yeah, like I spent every up. Christmas with you. And I spent, and spent, I spent every, every Christmas, Christmas with, with your we family. We split the day literally we in half. We split the day in half for Christmas to spend with our families. A lot of driving. No one's asked this yet, but that's one of the perks of, of dating long distance. It's like when you go to see each other, you're with each other 24-7 It's like a much. marriage simulation. Yeah, so <laughs> you get to kind of see them through every stage of their day. Like you get to really know them. And it's not like you're just seeing the put together version of them. I stayed at Abby's parents' house. They had a guest bedroom and I would see Abby in the morning and uh you know when she's yawning in her pjs and eating you saw cheerios her looking bad? and i saw her during the day when she would try to impress me with her cute little outfit continuing on were you guys worried about each other cheating Ooh, were you no. worried i wasn't worried either just we were I close enough really cross my mind never once crossed my mind someone said had a crush on someone else we never had crushes on other people while we were dating each other did you mm -mm. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure Abby had a crush on somebody before we were dating. I had a crush on somebody before yeah. we were dating too. I mean, crushes, crushes are definitely a normal thing. That's just part of life, you know? Everyone has crushes. Abby currently has a celebrity crush on Why do you Michael always bring this up? You have a celebrity crush on Kim Kardashian. Okay, what's his name? Michael P. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Michael, Michael P. Jordan. Michael P. Jordan. I'm pretty sure a lot of women have a crush on him. He was rooted, rooted sexiest rooted, man rooted. alive. How often should you try to see each other to keep the relationship healthy? That totally Great depends on question. how far away you are. I think that's tough because there's some people that are super duper long distance. There's to so where, many factors too. Yeah, there's like long distance dating where you literally have to like fly to go see your person. Yeah, if you're in a situation like that, it's just a matter of face to face conversations. In like, the military, that's so tough. So, so our hearts go out to you guys. Seriously, you guys are awesome. Also, thank you for your service. Yes, thank, really, you. thank you. How did you guys make sure your partner felt loved? I don't know if you guys saw the video that I put on TikTok. I would try to like surprise Abby as much as I could because luckily we had the luxury of only being two and a half hours away. So on Abby's birthday, I showed up in a present. I literally showed up in this big box wrapped as a gift for her birthday. And I told her, hey, sorry, I can't make it to go see you on your birthday. It was literally a school day, but I, it was a school night, but I did this anyway. And her did parents- Did you go to school the next I morning? didn't, I, I skipped school. My mom called in for me. And, I don't know and how I didn't birthday. know that you were in there. Yeah, why did you not know? <laughs> but it was so fun and I told oh, her, so sweet. I told Abby, I'm like, hey, I sent you a present. It's a really big box though. Hopefully you like it. Maybe that's why. Yeah, because I, I told you it was like really big. Surprises are fun, you guys. Yeah, Surprises and then also fun. just like, oh, good morning texts, good night texts. What was the hardest part about it? I think the obvious is that- Missing each other. Missing each other. It would be like physical pain. So dramatic, but it's so true. Oh, I just want to feel him. Weird. It's weird. You should rephrase that. I want a hug right now. <laughs> oh, we should tell them the creepy thing I did. What did you do? Oh, tell them the creepy thing you did. Go. Sometimes when I would just like miss him so much. <laughs> this is so creepy. You encouraged it. I did it. I. He gave me a little bit of yeah. his like body spray, like cologne that yeah, he used. Yeah, that I wear and all the time. Spray it on this little pillow that he gave me, and then I yeah. fall asleep and it'd feel like I was cuddling you. We Isn't didn't that a good idea? Before marriage, spray, but we cuddled and spray, so sprayed her cologne on the pillow, and then she was like, "Oh, it's Matt." That was so comforting for me, though. Like you guys should try it. If your man has like a specific smell, you can associate that smell with him, and then you can spray it on your pillow before you go to bed, and it'll just really calm you down. Axe Apollo, you guys. <laughs> Sexiest is scent. The best scent that exists. Is this what you did? How did you make it work? More details, the better, please. Okay, so the way we made it work was we didn't date long distance for super long. Like we eventually broke the long distance. Going to the same college for us, for all those people that are in high school right now in long distance relationships or in college in long distance relationships, you can break it by like going to the same school or moving to the same town or just something like that. You can kind of like integrate your long distance boyfriend or girlfriend when you're in the same town, I would have him hang out with my friends. So yeah, you felt like was, a part of it. And so then fun. I could talk about you to them or I could mention you like people know knew who you were or yeah. I could mention to you my friends, just like a part of my experience even though you were away. And like you made me a part of your experience even though I was away. Everyone knew that we were dating even though they kind of knew like, oh, he she has this like long distance boyfriend. I think that in life, we need to prioritize people over careers, prioritize people over things and money and it, it's my parents are watching the bachelor <laughs> if, you, if you just it's heard it's getting that, really heated you think it's a getting, event. it's it's getting very loud we need to prioritize people over money and careers and all of the above so if you are serious about a relationship well said babe guess what you got to you got to make strides to to make that work out what were your fears doubts did you think they were reasonable or over dramatic Go, Abby. I feared that you didn't like me. Oh, at the beginning. At the beginning, I didn't know if I liked you, so I had to keep figuring it out. Yeah, you really made me like kind of stressed. I like, cried. I'm sorry. I guess just the, the biggest one is like, am I making this decision too fast as a young person, like getting married? Is this too quick? Like, I don't know. Everyone's telling you like, you're too young, you're too young, you shouldn't get married, you, sh you shouldn't. And like, honestly, you I should. I don't think you ever You should that. listen to people. Like you should. Yeah. You should allow people to give you advice. Even bad advice is good advice because it makes you think. think. I have a good piece of advice. Yes. Surround yourself with people that are going to speak life into your relationship. Yeah. If they have friends that will call you out if they're like, hey, you know what? I don't think you should be texting that boy like you are. Or if they see you acting a certain way at school or in, you know, at a dance or where your partner, your boyfriend or girlfriend isn't, have friends that will 
call you out and support your relationship. Have friends that'll keep you accountable. Good backup singers to your yeah. relationship. Someone said, was it hard to stay loyal? Mm, not really. I really no. liked Matt. I was loyal I to Abby. I only wanted to be with him. Best way to enjoy the time you spend together. Like we said, over the phone, through FaceTime, we would make sure that we were talking face to face rather than just texting and Snapchatting because we really wanted to get to know the yeah. real each other. As far as the time together that we had physically. We had all we that would, time to plan and get would, excited about we it. We would plan fun adventures. Like we went canoeing and then we went and like uh, this picnic on an island at this park that Abby had close by to her house. and. We would go on fun hikes and haunted houses, bake Christmas cookies, like, go apple picking. Like we just like planned and like had Spend time to get excited. Um, True that, bro. Like, if it's meant to be, yeah. it will be. K sera sera. <laughs> what are you singing? Whatever will be, will be. What are you singing? <laughs> you don't know that no, song. What is that so song? Uncultured. What is that if song? If you know that song, comment down below. Okay, also comment down below if you have any advice for anybody in a long distance relationship. We're not like the experts on this topic. We're not experts. We're we don't just pretend talking to be about experts. our experience. This is exactly. It worked out for us though, so we might be experts. We're married. Hey, we got married. But dudes, we love you. We appreciate you. If you made it this far in the video, please go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe with the bell for the notifications because we want you to be a part of the fam. And if, if you've already done that, thank you. We appreciate you. And we will see you in the next video. Peace, Peace out, dudes. dudes.